hello guys in today's tutorial we will see how you can get the grade on the basis of percentage information so here in this information i have added name marks of subject i have already calculated total and percentage if you don't know how to get total by using some function and if you don't know how to get the percentage using formula then you go through my previous tutorial in my previous tutorial in the excel tutorial series i mentioned how you can get the total and percentage now in this tutorial i will show you how you can calculate the grade so for the calculation of grade you must be aware about the nested if statement okay in my previous tutorial i already mentioned what is nested if statement so here i have mentioned the syntax of nested if statement so in this syntax i have mentioned three if statement you may have four five up to n so here i mention three if statement if condition okay in short i tell you how it work so if the condition is true here it will run this one this statement otherwise in place of false we use next if statement then if it is true it will execute true statement otherwise we have if again if it is true it will execute true otherwise false statements so in the last if that false is optional part if you want you can use so in nested if one if is present in second if that's why it is nested if and we have many conditions there so now let's start for the calculation of grade so before calculation of grade you should know here some criteria so here i am clicking on this sheet 2 and here i have mentioned the grade like d c b a d means if the percentage less than 35 that student will belong to d grade <coughs> if it is in between 35 to 90 that student uh, grade will be c if the percentage in between 50 to 74 that student will get b grade uh, otherwise in between 75 to 100 student will get a grade if the student not getting all these grade then he will get uh, the remark not valid okay so these are this is the criteria of getting the grade okay so here i am setting the criteria like less than 35 35 to 49 then next one is 50 to 74 and 75 to 100 so now i will do the formula here so for calculation of the grade here you should use equal then if statement you have to use then here this particular sale address is important for me because we are calculating grade on the basis of percentage so i simply click here and if this address value is less than 35 then what happen the grade will be last one that is the d then i close means if the uh, percentage will be less than 35 then student will get d grade otherwise if the condition is not true then you have to use next if statement uh, suppose here it is less than then 50 okay so if the g3 value is uh, less than 50 means what happen here this condition will be checked first here if it is true it will run d okay and if it is not if it is false next if will run and if it is less than 50 then that student will get c grade okay so if it is true it will run with c grade otherwise in place of false we use next if statement so again i am putting here condition so it is if it is less than 75 okay if the particular percentage value is less than 75 then next our grade is b then in place of false value we use if statement so in this way if this percentage less than 100 then i should here write a grade otherwise not valid closing now we have used three statements so three closing brackets so this is my 
calculation so here this is the if statement which will calculate the grade now i explain this is g3 which hold the percentage value if it is less than 35 student will get d if this condition is false then next if will run less than 50 less than 50 means ultimately that student will get more than 35 and less than 50 so that student will get c if it is false next one g3 less than 75 so g3 less than 75 means ultimately that student more than 50 and less than 75 student will get b grade if it is less than 100 means ultimately the student having more than 75 and less than 100 student will be eligible for a grade otherwise not valid so here i drop down downside so you can observe here 35 means represent the c grade 33.5 means d grade 44 point something c 79.5 means student will be eligible for a because what happens 75 and in between 100 is a here by mistake here it is 111 so not valid so in this way friend you can calculate the grade it is very simple the main thing is you should understand the syntax of if okay once you understood this you can easily calculate the grade so i hope friend you understood this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you